Today is Monday, October 30th, and this is Citrus TV Now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Peter Elliott. Here are today's top stories. Yesterday, a series of anti-Semitic threats were made against the Cornell Jewish community. The threats ranged from calling for total violence against Jewish students to an act of violence against 104 West, the center of Jewish living on campus. Governor Kathy Ockel meeting with Cornell students today and announcing heightened security on campuses statewide. Uh, hatred that makes people feel vulnerable and exposes people and makes them feel insecure in a place that they should be enjoying their campus life without fear. An FBI spokesperson says the agency is, is aware of threats made to Cornell's Jewish community, saying, we take all threats seriously and are working closely with Cornell and our law enforcement partners at every level to, ter to determine the credibility, share information, and take appropriate investigative action. Well, early voting is continuing in Onondaga County ahead of the November 7th elections. More than 2,600 voters cast their ballots during the first two days of early voting. This year's turnout is up from 1,600 voters during the same time period in 2019 and 2021. Early, early voting will continue until next Sunday. There are 10 locations across Onondaga County that you can go to cast your ballots. The five in Syracuse are on your screen right now. While well, shootings across the United States this weekend, leaving at least 11 people dead and more than 70 injured. Many of these shootings uh, happening during Halloween celebrations in cities like Indianapolis and Tampa. This comes after the mass shooting in Maine that left 18 people dead, prompting President Biden to once again call on Congress to pass legislation banning assault weapons. We're still ahead on Citrus TV Now, the President is supporting upstate New York in its hopes to become a global hub for semiconductor manufacturing. Stick with us. Come on, it's not that hard. My big man fingers are having problems with these little tiny buttons. Mm. Whoa, watch it there. Your blood pressure's gonna go through the roof. Tell me about it. I'm trying to learn how to get it down. Instead, it keeps going up. High blood pressure can increase the risk for heart attack or stroke. Learn how to keep yours at a healthy range. Ever hear a voice command? Just say, text Barbershop to 97779. That's not what I said. Just give me that. Now my blood pressure's up. <sighs> Welcome back to Citrus TV Now. President Biden says he wants to make upstate New York a global hub for computer chips. Ten billion dollars have already been invested in this region, spanning from Syracuse to Buffalo to fund the semiconductor industry. Biden says the hub will support a workforce training program and focus on training women and people of color. Well, it's that time of year here in central New York. Areas could see first, the first snowfall of the year as early as tonight or tomorrow night. Areas with higher elevation like the Adirondacks and hilly areas, areas south of Syracuse and Buffalo, as well as places in the southern tier, are more likely to see snowfall. The National Weather Service says it probably won't be more than an inch or two, but weather anchor Lauren Holdmeyer is here in studio just as reliable as the National Weather Service. Lauren, are we going to see any snow ahead of Halloween? Hey Peter, well right now we are seeing a lot of rain as I'm sure you all have noticed it's been raining ever since we woke up this morning. Temperatures at about 44 degrees right now and the feels like is 40 so not too chilly yet but we definitely are making our way down. Tonight we're going to make it down to about 42 but then after midnight we will reach the mid to upper 30s nearing freezing temperatures so that's when those showers that we're seeing right now might turn into just a little bit of a, of a snow shower if you will and that snow has the possibility to start tonight after midnight and then continue on into tomorrow morning tomorrow um, your halloween forecast um, tomorrow at 6 p.m we're going to be seeing low 40s about 43 degrees 9 p.m. 39 and then midnight we'll, we will be seeing 37 degrees. So if you are going out tomorrow night to celebrate Halloween, definitely make sure to grab that jacket on your way out. You are going to need it. So we could be seeing even more snow flurries tomorrow night. Peter? Well, Lauren, hopefully that all clears up ahead of Halloween so no trick-or-treaters get too uh, cold and damp. Thank you so much. Well, coming up ahead on News Live at 6, it's International Career Week here at SU. Our reporter Tyler O'Donnell attended the first two events of the week and sat down with students to hear their thoughts. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on X and Instagram. I'm Peter Elliott. The news continues in an hour with Nicole Ponte and Peyton Spellacy. Thanks for joining us.